Ashe, 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 you guys. Welcome back to my channel, I see with Tarot. I am here to do a general energy reading for you guys. This will be for all signs. Please remember to take what resonates with you, leave behind what does not. This reading may be for a past, present, or future situation. This may be your energy or somebody else's energy. So please remember to take what resonates. Before I already start the video, my timer went off. It's like 8.44. I can see that it's 8:44. So I'm I'm definitely putting a lot of abundance energy. Let's see what's going on for you guys. What's going on with the collective at this time, Spirit? I'm gonna pull three cards. I'm gonna pull three cards. What's going on with the collective? Got freedom at the bottom with trust. Okay, so we have acceptance here. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So maybe someone needs to accept the fact that they can't change something here. Or maybe somebody is finding it hard to accept the fact that they can't change something. This could be somebody that you're dealing with or used to deal with. Something about flowers is very significant too. We got perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So, I feel like somebody is, I'm picking up on somebody else's energy here. Let me get one more, one more before I say anything. Okay, so we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So, I feel that. You're learning to accept things that you cannot change. This might have something to do with a relationship. We got honesty at the bottom in reverse with indecision and peace in reverse. I feel that there's somebody that cannot be honest with themselves and they're not at peace either. Adversity, love, and forgiveness, death. So, there is something that you ended here with the individual. I don't know if this is a family member, friend, or a lover. But you ended something with somebody here. And you learned some type of lesson. So, now you're in the type of energy where you're growing here. You want to you wanna rebuild yourself. I feel there's like somebody is trying to rebuild themselves here. Let's get some more. Clarify acceptance. We've got the empress at the bottom. Yeah, somebody is rebuilding themselves here. Somebody is, you're learning who you are all over again. Or you're just nurturing the real you. Clarify acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. Wow, we got, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this is definitely a lever for some of you. And look at that, the seven of cups at the bottom with the hermit, three of wands, five of cups. Hmm. This is definitely somebody else's energy here. Clarify acceptance. So you have somebody here. Ooh, look, I, I not just seen the devil in my third eye. I didn't say anything, but I've seen it in my third eye. So you have somebody here that is highly obsessed with you. Either this person, this person probably feel that you was using them as a distraction for your pain or they was doing this to you. But they can't change, they can't, they, they can't accept the fact that they can't have you. You got everything is fine with the star. 
Like somebody is watching you here. Somebody's watching you shine. Somebody's watching you heal, pour into yourself. Clarify, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay, we have the page of wands. Yeah, like this person feels that, that you use them as a distraction for your pain. They feel like they don't know everything about you. Somebody feel like you hold a lot of secrets from them. Or that you held a lot of secrets from them. Give me some more for this page of wands. But whoever this person is, like they're very obsessive. Look at that the emperor came out. The emperor with the ten of wands. Like seriously, you have somebody burdened here. Somebody just can't get over you. They can't get over you. This person is using you as a distraction for their pain. While you are in your page of wands energy, persevering. This is, yeah, this person is watching you persevere. And they're like, they're obsessed with you. It's like you minding your business and going about your life and healing from them. It's like turning this person on. Like, that's what I'm getting. It's like turning them on. The love is at the bottom of the deck with the five of swords. It's turning this person on. This person is leaving if this person had you in a third party situation, they're leaving people behind to see if they have another chance with you. This person is obsessed with you, whoever this is. I'm not really getting no good, healthy obsession either, to be honest with you. This person is burdened. But what happened between you guys? I don't know, but I feel that whatever happened... Maybe it was supposed to happen because you have growth here. What's the Ten of Wands for this Emperor? This person has a lot of things going on behind the scenes with a lot of people. Look at that. Two of Pentacles. He's juggling with a lot of people. Could be mother figures. I don't know, but he's juggling a lot. He has a lot going on. A lot of challenges. Like this is somebody that like they are very they're very assertive. They take control a lot. I feel like somebody like somebody like like taking control too. Somebody feel that they can handle a lot of things, but secretly they can't. What's the devil? We got the four of cups. And look what's split right here. The Eight of Cups. You left this person. You left this person. This person feel like you walked out on this connection with them for good. I thought like it's some type of manipulation though. Like there's a some type of manipulation. This person needs to heal. I feel like they're, they're being told to heal. They're being guided to heal. Look at that. Yep. The star where everything is fine and the king of wands. This person is like being guided to heal, but they don't want to. It's like all this person think about is you and how they messed up and they want this connection back. Somebody wants you to forgive them. Somebody is looking for your forgiveness. What's the devil with the four of cups? They can't even focus on themselves because they want to bring you in the offer so bad. This person feel like you guys work real good together, but there's something underlining though. Like it's some type of like, I don't think that it's coming off in like a harsh way, but there's like a, there's like a something unhealed within them that like boosts them up in a like egotistical type of way. They don't really show love to you the way that they need to. I don't know. It's something like that. It's something like that. Give me some more for this. Look, we got the sun with the ten of swords. Well, my phone vibrating. 
I feel like you're moving forward. And then it's, I have 37% on my phone. 3 and 7 is 10. 5 and 4 is 9. 8, 9, 10. I feel like you're just moving forward and somebody can't reach you. Because something about this person was exposed to you. This person has an unhealthy fixation with you. And the fact that they held back from you when they should have. But it's like it's like it's it's in the past now. Something about this is like it's it's in the past and it can't be. This person got to heal. What's the sin of swords with the sun? You know what? Let me get some for my deck. What's going on with this individual? 1101 on the clock. Ooh, we got shit happens. <laughs> That shit happens. So this person is like, you know, we got, they judge how you look and act on the back. So this person probably judged you and how you look. Maybe you not, you wasn't really what this person really wanted at first. And look, we got forgive me, please, with good karma right here. Somebody's watching you get good karma and they want you to forgive them. Maybe they want to just come in and get a piece of the pie. I don't know. I thought like this person judged you though. Maybe you had like some type of like childlike energy that, to you and you was very healing to this person. Give me some more for this individual with this acceptance, the devil, the sun, the emperor. Okay. Speaking of the sun, we got shining. This person is watching you shine. Literally. I said that in the beginning. I said that in the beginning. This person does not understand something about you. They just want to know more about you. Give me one more. They can't release you. Look, we got twin flame here. Tower, quiet out, release. 333 with 555 on the back. A third party situation ended this. A third party situation ended whatever this is between you guys. Whatever happened, it was a third party. Clarify this a little more in this situation. Ooh, the abundance. I told I don't know, I was picking up abundance energy and like all this good energy is coming out for you. Somebody is watching you grow. They're watching you be abundant. They're watching you being your empress energy. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. This person is trying to manifest you back into, the, into their life because they see you in this abundant energy. They're trying to manifest you back. <laughs> Look at that. The love to the bottom of the deck again. This person is trying to manifest you. Look at that with the magician. The lovers... The lovers with the five of swords, the eight of pentacles with the magician. This person is trying to manifest you back because they see you in abundant energy. This person feel like y'all belong together. And it's possible that you guys do belong together. But, you know, if a person not acting right, you can easily be with somebody else. That's how I feel. Clarify abundance. <laughs> we got the two of cups. But look what's at the bottom. The world. With the Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Like, you close out this cycle with this person. It's over with for this. This person is watching you, like, heal yourself. Like I said, me and your Empress energy. I see the Empress right here. They can't come back. I feel like you're guarded against to this person as well. You're guarded against them. Clarify Perseverance. You just focused on you growing. Look at the Three of Pentacles. This is a third party. I'm telling you, there was a third party that ended this situation. This person felt like they could do whatever they wanted to do. Whoever this this uh masculine, this is a masculine energy. And whatever this person did, this could be a feminine energy as well. So again, take it as it resonates. But this was a this was a third party. It was a third party. Clarify perseverance. 
we got the hang one. You came to peace with this. Four of Wands at the bottom with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups with the Six of Cups. Yeah, you have to be strong about this. You have to be strong about this. Like, you knew deep down inside that this person had things going on with other people. They didn't really tell you this, though. Like, you had to find this out using your intuition. I feel like your intuition had to tell you this. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. I feel like your intuition had to tell you that this person had other... Look at that. The Five of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. Your intuition told you that this person had somebody else. This person could have been married to somebody else. But like they really, they view you as very nurturing and kind. That like they comparing you to other people, to a third party. Somebody's comparing you. You got the Empress. Yeah, they comparing you. What's the Queen of Pentacles with the Five of Wands? Like I said at the beginning, this person got too much going on. They got too much going on. Look at that, the Ten of Cups. This person got a whole family with somebody. But they, they don't want this person. Whoever this is, they cause them a lot of headaches. They judge them a lot. They don't treat them. They don't make them happy. I feel like you make this person happy. You this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you this Queen of Pentacles, but somebody else is like, they view somebody else as this Queen of Pentacles too. This is how this person like viewed whoever this third party was. Like they like mistaken. I don't know, they mistaken this third party energy with your energy or like they was going back and forth between you and this third party trying to see who made them more happy. What is this? The Page of Swords. <laughs> yeah, this person was going back and forth between you and this third party trying to see who made them more happy. Trying to see who made them feel, who, who healed them more. Who can make them forget about their problems, their issues. Who can, like, help them grow? Who who was helping them grow? Who was helping them feel at peace with this hang one? Clarify the hang one. Judgment. This person was judging to see who, between you and this third party, was making them more happy. And I feel like they called judgment on the wrong person. <laughs> they chose the wrong person. What's the judgment with the hang one? So then God had to step in and move you away. We got everything is fine. Yeah. They chose wrong. Well, like I said, you at peace with this. You at peace with knowing this. You call judgment on this person too. Because they took you through they took you through a lot. I feel like you call judgment on this person. What's the judgment where everything is fine? Well, God just seen what was going on and called judgment for you. Yep, got the seven of cups. God seen everything that was going on to you, Empress, and called judgment. And made you lead this person out in the cold. So now you're getting karmic justice for not going repeating the same cycle. You were free to repeat the same cycle. Maybe you dealt with this person for a little while, but you didn't go in too deep. Like your intuition was giving you signs and you listened. This person was doing things. Like, I don't, I don't know what this person had going on, but they was like, they was doing something. What's going on with this person? What this person had going on? That's what I want to know. What they had going on? We got the Six of Pentacles with Temperance. This person is a people pleaser. That was people pleasing. Look, look at that King of Pentacles. This person was people pleasing and you knew it. It, I'm Lord have mercy with the five. Literally, this person like they they started whole families with people people pleasing, all because people like this type of person like people make them feel good or like validate them or something like that. They want people to validate them or something. What? 
What's the Six of Pentacles with Temperance? The Ace of Cups with the King of Wands at the bottom and the Four of Wands with the Queen of Cups. This person was looking for people to validate, validate them. I feel like they took it too far though. Like, like this person started developing toxic relations with people and started just having kids with people. Overextending their energy and getting mad in the process and not knowing how to heal from it and trying to find somebody to really treat them the way they want to be treated. And then they came across you and that's exactly what they got, but they didn't know how to handle it because they had never really had it. They didn't know how to handle it. All right, give me some more on the situation. Look at that, what I say? You different. They didn't know how to handle you because you was different. Like, I ain't even got to pull no more on that, but let me get some from here. <laughs> You different, honesty, with love at the bottom. This person is in love with you, and they want your forgiveness. But they also feel like this relationship is over with. They feel like it's over with, death. There's no coming back from it. Honesty, I can always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I feel like you spoke your truth to this person. That you didn't look at that. I spent the day on relationship. You spoke your truth to this person. I feel like it changed them too, or it scared them and it changed them. Cause you was different. They didn't have your type of energy before. They never had somebody to like probably like stand up to them or something like that. Clarify this honesty when you different. <laughs> look at that five of pentacles. They never had somebody to lead 22 on the clock, 2202. They never had somebody to lead them out in the cold before. They never had it. Like, you was the first person to do it. You was the first person to stand up for your worth. And now you are in this abundance energy, loving on yourself because you found your fucking worth. This person was a big lesson to you. I feel like both of you was a lesson to each other, though. That's how I honestly feel. Both of you was a lesson to each other. And now we move on to growth. And this is what you're doing. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Your intuition helped you. So wherever you are, you're very intuitive. Clarify growth. Ooh, we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, though. Dang, somebody don't want you to grow alone. Somebody secretly... Ooh, the Seven of Swords with just being near you is intoxicating with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. Truth is, this person has to watch you grow without them, but they don't want to. But they know that you know that they did some messed up things. <laughs> Clarify growth. They know that you know the Three of Swords. They did some messed up things. They they, they hurt you. They hurt you. And now you have, to, you have to grow past this pain. This person don't want you to grow without them, though. And they, I feel like they also being told to work on their consciousness too to become more aware of the bullshit that they be doing and how they treat people with this three of swords. So this, I feel like this is for both of you. Clarify the eight of pentacles. Page of cups. Yeah, how they treat people with the king of cups. Queen of wands, wheel of fortune, the lovers. They're being asked to see how they they have to sit down and see how they treat people. What's this Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Cups? Nigga said the King of Cups, like I said. This King of Cups has to sit back and see how he really treat people because of his emotions. Because he's been hurt so much. What's going on with this King of Cups? So I feel like they come off and like we got the nine of pentacles. This person they, they had they grew so much with people. I feel like they they made so many choices to like grow with people and build a foundation with people, but didn't know that these people were the wrong ones to be building the foundation with. Like they found out secrets about them along down the line, but they had already had something started with them. Maybe had they already had a kid with them. Maybe they had probably was married child. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that, the Empress 
with the four of wands, the queen of cups, and the six of cups. This person started relations with a whole bunch of different people. What's the three of swords? We got the tower. The love is at the bottom of the deck. The wheel of fortune. They know that you're getting a new connection. And this is devastating to them. It's devastating. What's the three of swords with the tower? This person, they have to grow past this. You grew past this, so now it's their turn to go past this. Because, like, you got, look at that, the lovers. You got a new connection. What did I just say? This person knows you got a new connection. Wow. <laughs> wow. What's the lovers? And they're devastated. Nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. We got the queen of swords. I feel like there's somebody in their life too trying to sabotage this connection. Trying to make sure. Yeah, there's a queen of cups in their life trying to make sure this person don't have no type of happiness. Maybe this person found out about you. Who's this queen of swords with the lovers? Who's this queen of swords? Who's going on this queen of swords? Ooh, the ace of wands. They don't want this person to have no happiness. What did I just say? They don't want this person to have no happiness. What's the queen of swords with the ace of wands? So somebody in their past, the five of swords with the identification card. They don't want this person to find nobody. And they're going to make sure of it. Whoever this is, they heavily spy on this person. They really do. I don't know. Maybe it's possible that you was meant to be with this person for some of you. And it's possible for some of you that you just meant to move on. And if you are meant to be with this person, there's somebody in the background that's trying to make sure that they don't move towards you. And this is somebody that they got a kid with as well. They have a kid with this person. Or something. They got something going on with this person. Like, what is this? What, what, who is this individual? No, we got the Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? The Seven of Wands. I feel like you know this and you're guarded. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The Seven of Swords, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Swords. You know this. You already know. And that's why you're guarded towards this person. That's exactly why you're guarded. You're this Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Wands? You're guarded. And you're moving on. Look at that. Two of Swords. You know this person cannot choose between you and this other person, so you decided to move on. You decided to move on. Give me some more in this situation. Oh, shit. Look at that free. First card stick out to me. <laughs> you moved on from this person. Like, look at that. Validation came out. I told you this person was seeking validation for people, and it fell right here. I was talking about validation right here in the middle. This person was seeking validation from people. But I feel like you didn't give this person no type of validation, though. Maybe you did. Maybe maybe you did for some of you. This person is watching you, though. But they know you're protected. If they did something to you, like, it's their turn now to receive some type of karma. Like, they're receiving some type of karma. <laughs> that validation and free came out. I'm going to leave both of them out here. Give me some more in this situation. Like two more. Ooh, we got profit, I just seen. We got loyalty. What they made you cry. All you wanted to do was bring loyalty to this person. And show, and show this person what real love felt like. Even if you was like romantically attracted to them or not. You, you still a sweet person. Like you just show people genuine love. But this person can handle it. Not only can they not handle it. But they already had situations going on before you even like <laughs> met them. <laughs> to be honest. Give me some more in this. They already had things going on. Oh we got purpose here. Okay, see, like you're growing. Somebody, I feel you focus on your purpose here. You grew past this. 
You grew past this. Clarify purpose with this free <laughs> and validation and stuff. You focus, everybody. Oh, look at that, the world. With the four ones. You close this out. 3010 on the clock, as I said that. You close this out. You're focused. You're in that four energy, that abundance energy. Taking right back to what I said in the beginning, 844. So you could be saying that number. You could be saying 844 or just 888. Like something about this Lions Gate, 888 for the two. I got tons tied there a little bit. Clap my purpose for me. You're focused on you and what makes your world perfect. Oh, we got the Hierophant with the Eight of Cups. You officially stepped away from this connection. You knew that this person was probably your person, but you stepped away from it. You called judgment on it or God called judgment on it for you and gave you something new. You have a new connection coming in. <laughs> Look at that. Ace of Pentacles with the Star and the Empress. You are focused on your abundance here. You are in abundant, rich energy. And you. this person feels it. They really do feel it. Everybody around you feel this too. Everybody around you feel this energy. What's the eight of, what's the higher friend with the eight of cups? We got the four of swords. You're at peace. You're at peace. You're so busy manifesting right now. You're manifesting right now. You're manifesting a whole new beginning for yourself. And that's exactly what you should do. So let me get something to close it out. Finish doing that. Let's close it out. Give me one to close it out. I'm going to pull some from all three to close it out. What do you want to close it out on? Motivation, advice. They went right back in. Oh, wow. Love and friendship at the bottom. Maybe you have, you uh, you got love coming in, baby. Clarify love. You got a new, oh my gosh, the star. Like, literally. You are going to be so healed to the point where you're going to have somebody to come in that's going to treat you so good. They're going to treat you so good. Give me some more to close it out. Ancestors. What the fuck? Ancestors and period, and it fell right on top of the two of cups in abundance. The ancestors are like, man, period. You you work too hard for this. You work too hard to heal. And this person was like the final test for you to see if you was ready for true love. And you did it. Period. The ancestors like you got new love coming in because you chose to, you chose you. You chose to focus on you instead of trauma bonding with somebody. So you can heal and they can heal. That's beautiful, Collective. I really do love that for you guys. Please continue to stay focused on you. Don't, don't even worry about this connection. Worry about just pouring all that love and energy into you at this time because you really do need that. Everybody needs that. If you don't have nobody right now, so what? Continue healing on you. Maybe if you have somebody to come in when it's your time. That is your message, Collective. I'll see you guys in the next video. I say, I say, I say. Mwah.